there is six or seven redfish cruising this mangrove right here. You see them all? Right here? In the mangroves? Right there? First two, three, four, five, six? Right there. They're coming straight at us now, of course, now that I've threw my lure 10 feet the other direction. Now they're swimming that way. I One just looked at it. Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. I got him. Torpedo. Yes. Torpedo. It is about time. Oh my gosh. Trying to see where it went so you can cast up in there too. Finally got my red. Oh, there's a snook right there. Hitting the dirt. It's a big fish over there. Definitely got the drag clamp all the way down. He's alive. He's colored. Not a monster, it's actually like this size either. The whole school was that big though. There might have been one like slightly bigger than that one. So cool. First sight fished red. 21, 22. It's gonna be a little bit bigger. 22. Alright, let's see if we can release this guy good. There he goes. Perfect. Perfect release. Woo! So after sight catching that redfish the other day, I really wanted to come back out here and give it another shot and see what we can pull up. Uh, doing things a little bit different this time, I got this little hair jig. It's like a tsunami 8th ounce uh, bucktail jig kind of like a crab pattern it's brown with this like turquoise slash blue sparkle in it and i'm actually just putting like a not a frozen but a fresh dead shrimp the fresh ones they hold on the hook and stay on there way better uh plus i believe fresh bait is always a better look than bait that's been sitting around for a while so yeah we're gonna get this st party started Hopefully we got a couple nice fish here today. It's an absolutely beautiful afternoon. Look at that first cast, first fish. What are we gonna pull out here? What are we gonna pull out? Nice little red fish. First cast, first fish. Never a good sign, but not a bad look. Get me excited to get started today. Whew, beautiful little guy here. We're just gonna put him right back where he came from. There he goes. Woo! All right. Let's hope that's a great sign. Let's keep on, keep on keeping on. There's a school of drum right here in this shadow line. Just want them to find my shrimp. Can't tell if it's red drum or black drum. They're also on the other side of the dock line, so I don't know if they can see it. Well, I was readjusting the boat and tossed up under there and this little snapper came up and grabbed it actually. So not a bad size little guy. Not big enough to keep, but not bad for this area. I get him off quickly and get him ready to go. I'm trying not to get stung by these spikes here. There we go. Don't snap me, Mr. Snapper. Their gill plates are actually pretty sharp. He didn't want to let go. Later. A couple of big trout just spooked off. Man, I gotta get these baits to like lay quieter. 
or something. Another big trout. Three big trout in one spot. I'm after those drum though. Here they are. They're right here. This shrimp is literally going to go in the middle of them. Oh, come on. The whole school is right here. Come play. Bigger ones to the left here. These are small ones right here. Oh my god, there's all... He got it. He got it. Got him. Nice red. Oh no, I just missed it. Oh my gosh, I spooked the whole school too. Double it up. At least the ones on the right were nice red fish. The ones on the left I still think were black drum. I spooked about 20 fish, so I don't know how hard it's gonna be to find them again. This is crazy. I've never seen this many of them together like this. Gotta set that hook hard. Oh yeah, I still see them. They're there. Cruising away pretty quickly. All right, got one in front of him. He's still turned. He's right here. Is black or red? Those look black to me. Those are black drum. So we got a school of reds and a school of blacks. Crazy. Oh, there we go. There we go. Whew. Saw a school running by this dock. Made a quick pitch. Just gonna slowly put pressure on this guy. We go out to open water because I think this is a big one and I don't have the heaviest of tackle right now. And he's swimming right with me right now, so not not a bad move. He's coming right to the boat. Oh, I think this is big. It's going to be a nice black drum right here. Oh, he just came off. Oh my gosh. Heartbreaker again. That was such a nice one. Here we go. Right and straight ahead. Come on. Right on top of it. I felt that he's thumping it. There we go. No, 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 no. Not that way. This way. I it up. Oh, f he got off. Damn. Oh my gosh. Got me right around the piling. All right. We're not leaving until we get one of these. That's two that we've missed. The piling cut me off so fast. School right in front of me. Get him out. All right, setting the hook twice this time. Whew, this is not the giant from last time. But she's a fighter. Oh my gosh. Under the boat right now. Under the boat. Break on me now. <sighs> Getting them out to open water a little bit. Even this little guy is putting up a heck of a fight. Still pretty, pretty green. hooked oh in the boat all right Woo. oh my gosh yes all right 
absolute beautiful black drum right there just about 21 inches right around the 21 inch mark not nearly the size of the one that we just hooked on but after missing three the two black drum and that red fish oh this is just an absolute relief got a good revival on them too couldn't see it just want to make sure we got a good strong one all right first black drum let's go look you pumped look you pumped i think both are pumped i'm pumped an awesome day of fishing a really trying day of fishing um you know it just goes to show no matter how tough it's getting just keep adjusting the scenario you know for me i think i was just spooking a lot of the fish and then later on once i was starting to hook into them I realized the jig heads weren't that sharp, so I switched over to a mission fishing, it's hard to say, mission fishing jig head, uh, local company here to my area. And uh, you know, we got it done. It wasn't the absolute bruiser that we had on the line. You know, I think that was probably close to a 30 inch fish, but it was just awesome to finally see that hard work, you know, pay off. I've been fishing a lot more the last couple weeks, so if you've been following along and you have not subscribed yet, you know, make sure you guys subscribe, drop a like, comment, you know, that all helps me out a lot. You know, I plan on fishing and just keep developing my skill over the next few months here and just kind of seeing where it goes from there. All right, until next time, guys, thanks for fishing with me. Gotta get these dogs home. Let's go.